Getty Deutsche Bank Group CEO John Crianthi audited annual financial statements show a loss of 735 million euros, 648.21 million pounds, significantly higher than the 497 million euros, 438.31 million pounds figure provisionally posted at the beginning of last month. The main reason for the deviation was given as a one-off accounting effect of US tax claims. Had it not been for President Donald Trump's tax changes in the fourth quarter of 2017, the bank said it would have made a profit of around 1 billion euros, 880 million pounds. If we want to live up to our claim of being the leading European bank we have to invest in our employees John Cry and despite this being the third year in a row with losses, employees of the largest German bank receive around 2.3 billion euros, 2 billion pounds, in bonuses while Shareholders will receive dividends of 11 cents, 9.7p, per share. Group CEO John Cryan insisted he wanted the bank to get back into profit again. He said, we reaffirm our goal to return to net gains and competitive pay in 2018. We have now laid the groundwork to unlock the potential of our bank. Getty Deutsche Bank has suffered a third year of losses in a round management board, which has 12 managers will receive a total of 29.2 million euros, 25.75 million pounds, in bonuses for 2017. Mr. Cryan received a salary of 3.4 million euros, 3 million pounds. For the past year, less than the 3.8 million euros, 3.35 million pounds, the previous year. The chief executive said he recognized the decision to boost bonuses was highly contentious for many given the reported net loss in 2017. Getty Deutsche Bank has decided to increase bonus payments to bosses despite the losses but he said the compensation was necessary to hold on to the best talents. He said, if we want to live up to our claim of being the leading European bank with a global network, we have to invest in our employees. It emerged over the weekend that members of the Deutsche Bank board did not accept their annual bonuses again as they have been doing since 2015 amid growing criticism of top executives taking home huge salaries despite poor company results.